Hard to get Maxi back in the newsroom today after uh -huh. this game on at Minnetonka High School. <laughs> oh my huh? gosh, let's bring the grill out there. You did <laughs> right. everything, some hot dogs and bratwurst. Sometimes you just marvel, like on February 17th when you attend an outdoor baseball game between, in this case, Dakota Technical College and the University of St. Thomas JV team. The earliest they've ever played outside in this state with big help from the playing surface. On a beautiful day, they played baseball. That's right. The earliest known outdoor game ever played in Minnesota at Minnetonka, a game they promptly scheduled when they saw the forecast early in the week. Honestly, they were all kind of stunned. Yeah. They were like, we get to play outside. Like, so it was kind of cool to see the look on their faces. So, so they gathered with sun-drenched conditions and a soft breeze to make history. I brought my uh, long sleeve with, but it doesn't look like I'm going to need it. Um, not very often in, in spring ball can you play without sleeves, and especially in far February 17th. Two teams that are not scheduled to play until they go to Florida at the end of March got to feel spring, at least for a day. I was excited, you know. A lot of us are waiting until, I think, March 20th. We go down. It's like 20-some days away. So it's a good opportunity to get out before then, see what everybody's got. It's a bonus baby then, huh? Yeah. That's why they put turf on this field, so that Minnesota could at least get a jump on the game when the temperatures turned warm, if only for a day. The designers of this field... Not all of them still live here. This is what they had in mind. And man, it worked well. The Gover